Greetings, my dear viewers. It is I, Drehan, and welcome back to another Dungeons & Dragons character concept, where we take a look at the different races within Dungeons & Dragons and see what type of generic playable characters that can be created using backgrounds and classes to match up with the lore of those races. Today is an interesting race, the Shifter. We have a lot of different races within Dungeons and & Dragons, and those races seem to match up perfectly with some of the monster types within Dungeons & Dragons, though more commonly they are half-humanoid in some form or fashion. Are you wanting to play an aberration? Well, the Kalashar is perfect for you. How about a Celestial? The Osama works just as well. How about an Elemental? Genasi. Fey, Hexblood, Fiend, Tieflings, Duh, Giants, the Goliath, and the Furbolg. How about the Undead? Well, the Reborn and the Dompier both have Undead origins. And while there are plenty of different options for beasts, as there's Arakokra and Tabaxi, or having a construct in the form of the Warforged, Dragons and Dragonborn, and oozes in the new Unearthed Arcana Plasmoids, which I will have a video on as soon as I can. Gotta do a lot of research on those guys. We don't really have that many playable races in the form of monstrosities, except for two options the Shifter and the Yuan T. And today's video is covering the Shifter, which are reminiscent of Lycanthrope. In fact, the Shifter, according to the lore, have ancestors in Lycanthropes, whether it's their great-grandfather, their father, or whatever. Somewhere in their bloodline, Shifters have a Lycanthropic Ancestry. Though you're probably thinking, sweet, I can make a shifter who is a Order of the Lycan Hunter. And yes, you would be right. But if a shifter did come across you, uh, let's just say there wouldn't be that fun of a time. As shifters. True to the nature of a lot of different half-breeds, don't like lycanthropes. Now, there is a historical reason within Eberron for this, and that's because a church known as the Church of the Silver Flame set out to kill lycanthropes on a certain island in Eberron, and... Unfortunately, due to the Shifter's ancestral heritage, they were easy targets for these anti-lycanthrope hunters. And Shifters weren't too happy about it, but more so against their lycanthropic ancestry because of, well, the fact that it, they're the reason all the Shifters look the way they do. So yeah, not exactly some good blood there. So, what about the races themselves? Because they are their own race. The Shifters and Eberron try to point that out explicitly. And, well, for backgrounds, I would say the Athlete, the Outlander, and the Uthgard tribe member would be your closest picks to a generic shifter character. For classes, Berber, Berberian, Barbarian, Monk, Ranger, and Rogue would be the most common of classes to find among your shifter uh, compatriots. Now, like I said, an Order of the Lycan Bloodhunter would actually be rather neat and thematic but other shifters probably wouldn't take kindly to you, like I said. So, that's something to think about. 
Let's go ahead and dive on into the different classes. We'll start things off with Barbarian. I think the primal paths that work best would be the Beast Barbarian and the Totem Warrior Barbarian, for quite obvious reasons. A Berserker is another one of those generic Barbarian subclasses that works with anything, but with Shifters, I think they work with just as well as, say, human, even more so, because of the fact that Shifters have a wild, a have an easy time with their transformations, they do have a bit of a temper. And that is what sort of triggers their transformation, is their emotions. So Berserkers, with this uh, shape change, is actually rather thematic in many ways. Now one thing you probably did not think of and are probably surprised about is the Barbarian Primal Path of the Depths, which comes from the Rune Terra Partner book. And, well, this is more of having more themes with unusual lycanthropes, like a were shark or were whatever. Anything aquatic would make sense to have with the Path of the Depths. And really, I just think it's neat. And thought it would be a good mention. Moving on to Cleric. Now, as far as Eberron goes, you are not going to see that many Shifter Clerics. Because after the Church of the Silver Flame, they kind of resented all forms of religion, other than their druidic practices. But if you have a shifter outside of Eberron, they would probably go with the gods of the moon, nature, strength, and twilight. And if you're looking for an evil shifter that embraces lycanthropy, I would probably suggest even going the route of worshipping Malar, the god of lycanthropes. I did actually get to talk about him in his own character conversion video, if you want to check out the playlist for the Fallen Gods series. That was kind of a fun build. Uh, anyway, uh, the Moon, Nature, Strength, and Twilight are the ones that I thought would be best, even though the only ones that were really listed were Nature and Strength. The moon sort of made sense, in my opinion, and I think it was listed over on the Forgotten Realms wiki. Moon and Twilight were just coincided with each other quite nicely, in my opinion. Moving on to Druid. Well, this would probably be one of the more common ones, not as common as Barbarian, it still would be decently common. I would say that there aren't that many circles that a shifter would join, though the circles of the moon and of the shepherd do seem to fit the shifter pretty nicely. Going on to fighter, now I wasn't able to find too much in common with shifters and the fighter martial archetypes. There were a couple of unearthed arcana ones that made sense, the Brute, Monster Hunter, and the Scout. But as far as quote-unquote core material, the Battlemaster and the Champion were the only two that made the most sense, even though those are pretty common amongst any form of race, shifter or otherwise. I wanted to go with the shifter's Monster Hunter well, anti-lycanthrope, really. There is a little bit of lore with some shifters teaming up with the Silver Flame Church to hunt down other lycanthrope, and that did cause some conflict within the shifter communities. So that would be something interesting, in my opinion. Moving on to Monk, there are two monastic traditions that I think would work well with a shifter. The 
quote-unquote core being the open hand monk, while the living weapon monastic tradition, which can be found in exploring Eberron, which is made by Keith Baker, the guy who wrote Eberron Rising from the Last War, does have a special uh, sub subclass. Part of the martial discipline, you get four different options. Forged Heart, Nightmare Shroud, Traveler's Blade, and Were Touched. Were Touched is shifter related. Because, well, that's their alternate name, Were Touched. Forged Heart, of course, is War Forged. Nightmare Shroud is part of the I can't remember what they were for. I think it was for the Inspired. Uh, Traveler's Blade was part of the Kalashtar. And Where Touched, of course, being from the Where Touched, the Shifters. So that is why I decided to go with Living Weapons, because it made sense for them. Moving on to Ranger. This is probably the. Uh, probably the second most common that you'll find among the Shifters. And for their conclaves, I would say Beastmaster, Gloomstalker, Hunter, and once again, referencing the anti-lycanthrope, Monster Slayer. And finally, we're going to go with Rogue. The roguish archetype of the Assassin, Scout, and Thief would probably be the most common among shifters if you decide to go with a Rogue. I didn't put any other spellcasters in here because with the Artificer, it didn't work because according to the lore, shifters were nomads that lived in the Outlands, barely even interacted with technology, so it didn't really make sense to have an Artificer. Maybe one that's an Alchemist, but uh, it's a bit pushing. It's... Wizard didn't really make sense for roughly the same reason, and neither did Warlock. According to the lore, they were subservient to no one. Probably another reason why you wouldn't want a cleric shifter in Eberron. Because they're not really subservient to anyone. And with that, that is all I have for you today. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, tune in for next week to see what else I can figure out. I don't really know what's going on next week. <laughs> uh, I'll probably finish off the 100 subscriber special that's been going on. Uh, we have homebrew of backgrounds, which uh, it's mostly just filler. There are some other homebrew stuff that we can do, but right now I can't really think of much. Uh, as far as character conversion and character concept go, I still got a few things up my sleeve. And I do have a Minecraft video on the way. I still have to finish that up. So, until next time, this has been Drehon, and I am offline. <laughs>